Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. Um, today is my monthly top 10 favorite Hoya video. Um, I do one every single month and I think this is the third year that I'm doing it. At the end of my two year, second year of doing this series, I was like maybe I should stop. But lots of you said to keep going and Honestly, my passion for Hoyas have not weaned. It has only grown stronger. Um, so I'm still really enjoying showing you guys like my top 10 every single month and pretty much every day I'm in my grow tent checking out my Hoyas. There's no particular order. I really enjoy all of them this month. So why don't we just get started? All right, the first one, the first one I want to show you is actually a birthday gift that I got from my um, brother last year. He got this Hoya from um, Happy Planting. So when he first gave it to me, it was just a cutting and I know it hasn't grown uh, a lot bigger, but look at these two new leaves. I love how the new leaves just has such a beautiful sheen to it. And this particular specimen just has this like darker foliage. Um, and yeah, I really love the way it looks. I have one that has like plumper, it's more like kind of heart shaped, it's splashy, it's very beautiful too. Um, yeah, but I just, uh, this particular one, now that it's growing, the new leaves, these two new leaves are so gorgeous. And I'm just really happy with this one. Originally, I thought in order to get this like dark, leaf color i have to expose it to a lot of light but it's actually not under like directly under my grow light it gets like medium bright light so i think it's just how this specimen grows this this one is just um a darker foliage specimen so the next hoya um is the hoya that i had struggled a lot with i got a pretty big specimen but it was not growing I share some cuttings and the cuttings that other people got have been growing really well. I eventually had to reroot mine and it's finally started to kind of regrow and like looking really, really beautiful. And the plant that I'm talking about is my Hoya Suzy Q. And she really is such a cutie. I think for a Hoya, when it has like old leaves and new leaves mixed in that's when it looks the prettiest because there's just like that variation of like different tones of colors and like different levels of shine. So the um, the range of um, textures and colors and sheen just gives it that much more beauty. And I think that's what I love most about uh, when Hoyas have new growth, especially this particular kind. Like you can see the new growth has like the pink has subsided a lot, but it's got that little bit of pink in there. Here you go. So I'm really happy with this one. And uh, so this is the second one. To show you guys, there's another Hoya. This one is quite a common Hoya, but uh, I actually don't have a big part of this. Uh, this is my original Hoya Crimson Queen. And I have shared some cuttings with other people and it will stay a very small cutting for me for a really long time. And right now it's kind of going through a little bit so it's growing a little bit and I'm really happy about that. Um, this is like such a cute pink uh, new leaf. I love that. Well, a long time ago it gave me this half moon leaf and it's like really big and I really love this leaf and I'm really glad it's holding on to it for so long. And it has held on to these like, this bunch of white leaves for a really long time too. Yeah, so this is, I really adore this Hoya. I know it's really easy to find and you could probably get a bigger pot, but it's a Hoya that I really enjoy growing, especially when it has new leaves and the, the pink again, it's just so beautiful. So you guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but like I've been putting it on my Instagram and on Facebook, the Hoya groups. I really want to look for a splashy Hoya Crimson Queen. Ever since I saw it on Rick's, um, YouTube video, I've just been really loving it and wanting to acquire one. So if you guys have any leads or if you have any cuttings, please let me know. I'm in Canada. <laughs> there you go, so pretty. And the third one, oh, I got this third one from North Shore Tropical. I forgot to 
keep its ID and I always thought I could just trace back into my email to find out the ID of this plan but for some reason the picture and the email no longer works so um, I, I can't identify this one it's a Hoya AH something. So this is the two leaves that I got from her. And recently it's been working on this leaf and I've been really enjoying it, watching it grow in the grow tin. It's like a little bit wavy. It's just really, I don't know, elegant, beautiful. There you go. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. Um, it had attempted to put out a couple new more leaves. Um, on this stamp but they both dropped and there's another new attempt right here i don't know if it's gonna grow um we'll see the next one is so beautiful i first saw this hoya on um, mom and plants her instagram and i just fell in love with it right away and um, i got it i think in the fall so it wasn't growing for a really long time um, and it has finally started to grow uh, in the warmer time of like spring so I'm really excited and uh, it, I'll just show you the plant and I will not be able to say the name of this plant because it's just got lots of fives in there it's just a bunch of number the new leaves are so cute and so pink I already took a cutting of this to give to um, uh, my new Hoya friend Mimi because she was looking for it and when she asked me about it I forgot that I have this Hoya but then later on I remembered and I gave her a cutting of this guy but yeah I love the shape I love the color I think it's so beautiful so the next one I want to show you is a, a Hoya that I imported last year um, in September maybe and it was already like a it's been my favorite ever since I got it. It was just really healthy, very easy to care for. These two are the leaves that came with the import. This leaf grew in my care and then it bloomed uh, once since the, this new leaf and, and then it's put out this beautiful, there you go. Just such a beautiful Hoya. Did I say the name? <laughs> this is a Hoya prick dye. Highly recommend. Super easygoing and very beautiful. Although I do think uh, I need to reroot mine. The roots are not the best right now. I got this Hoya from Alice and it, it was a one leaf cutting that I got. It rooted and then I went to Costa Rica and when I came back it threw out these two beautiful silver leaves. I'll post the picture on the screen. So then I thought, okay, I want two of these plants because they are so beautiful. So I took a cutting of that, those two leaves. I don't know what I was thinking. Like there wasn't much green in those two leaves. And sure enough, the cutting, it actually rooted, but um, it died still. I don't know what happened. So yeah, it was really sad to see. I shouldn't have cut it. I should have just let it grow a little bit longer and want, wait for it to be a little bit bigger. I was just really worried about losing this plant and wanted to have a backup. Anyway, so since I I cut it, it has now put out two more leaves. It's not as silvery, but it's still really beautiful. So I just want, I'm just really happy about it's coming back. So this is the plant. I still think the splashes are really beautiful. There you go. And this is how dark the leaves could be. Um, yeah, I still really, really love this plant. Oh my goodness. There's a thread on my Hoya. I've always heard about it, but I've never seen it. Do you guys want to see before I crush it? Where is it? There. Do you see? I guess this leaf is pretty tender that I can see why thrips will, will get on that, but... I've never found, this was in, this was sitting in my Exoterra and I've never found thrips in my Exoterra before. Um, and that looked like an adult thrip to me, but I'm not sure. But again, still, let's just admire how pretty this one is. So this is what happens. Sometimes if I see an adult thrip, that's when you know you need to pay attention to this plant uh, for when the eggs hatch and then you have to like 
stay on top of like clearing those newly hatched thread larvae and um, if you could stay on top of doing that the plant could actually stay it could become thrift free as long as you're diligent and consistent and on a plant like this that thrips don't usually like to be on once you cleared it away it could stay thrift free for like indefinitely and the next one i want to show you is my hoya clemens serum again so this plant was going through a growth spur. It, it didn't grow for like so many years for me. And then it went to live with my brother and it grew a little bit for him. So he went, cause he's environment, I don't know, it was warmer. So things grow better for him and he wanted a cutting. So he took my plant to grow it. And once it grew out, he took a cutting and gave me back my mother plant. And once he gave it back, it was just like not growing again for maybe eight months. Then it had a growth spur for, and it threw out three leaves. So I took a cutting of one of the leaves and I gifted, I traded it with Charmaine from um, Unplanned Parenthood. And I just thought I'm going to wait again, like indefinitely, months and months before this plant again grows. But I don't know, maybe it was the cutting that um, prompted it to grow again. But um, so, so I took a cutting from here and then it, it threw out another new leaf right next to the existing leaf. This is the existing leaf. It threw out another one right here. It's still hardening off and growing. And on the top, like right underneath where I cut it, it put out this leaf too. And I thought, I originally thought this new leaf was gonna drop. I just didn't have faith like, okay, so it's put out two new leaves. There's no way both are gonna grow out, but they did. So this is really exciting. And I think once they grow out, I would probably be able to share it. This is a cutting too, to either sell it or trade. I think I'm gonna put that on my, put it on my Instagram once it's grown out a little bit more. But yeah, this is the, the plant. It just, um, I'm really happy for how it's been growing. And I, a while ago, I had to chop off all of its roots and I am growing it in pond at the moment. There you go, isn't it so pretty? So yeah, sometimes I just feel like growing Hoya, you really, especially in indoors, you're playing the long game sometimes you have to wait for more than a year before um, anything happens. Just, yeah, so it's always nice to like be patient and then be surprised. Okay, and then we only have two more to show you guys. I'll show you this smaller one first. So a long time ago, uh, not, long, not too long ago, I won this Hoya actually in a draw and then, and then it was a cutting and I loved it so much, but then it had, it died. It, it, I rooted it, but I, somehow it just rotted away. And it was one of the most devastating things that happened to me in my Hoya journey. So I quickly tried to replace it and my friend had a cutting. So I got this cutting from my friend. Um, and uh, it was a cutting, so it rooted and I waited for a few months. I feel like maybe four or five months now. And now it's finally putting on a new leaf. And this is a Hoya Silver Dollar. And I was actually so tentative about this new leaf. I was like, maybe I shouldn't even show it on the camera. Maybe I should just keep it in the grow tent. But I don't know, I feel like it should be strong enough. I, just, I hope this is a sign of good things to come for this Hoya. I really would like to have like a much bigger plan of this. It's so pretty. So this next new one, I love this Hoya so much. Uh, I got this back last year at the end of the year. <laughs> Such a beautiful, it's a Hoya uh, CV Joy Splash. And uh, it's finally put out this long vine and it has a new leaf over here. And there, this new leaf, I didn't realize it was growing. So it was kind of bunched up with like other plants and it's growing out a little bit wonky looking, but look how pretty it is. It's so beautiful. There's a little spider friend in here. I don't mind spiders at all. There you go. And then there's another new leaf here. Although I don't, it doesn't look to be splashy, but it's still very, very tiny, so hard to say. But I love Hoya Joy, so this has been 
one of my favorite Hoyas and now I just can't wait for it to grow a little bit fuller and maybe like once it's a little bit full, uh, big, uh, more leaves, then I will take some cutting to like plant it in to make it um, a fuller pot. There it is, guys. I think that's all the Hoyas I have brought to show you guys today. Um, yeah, again, I'm really, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I'm not uh, super full of energy today. I just feel really like, tired from all the socializing. I need to like not talk and be quiet and like, still for for a while before I feel like I could charge up uh, just like so many things is, has been on the go and Wolfie is at the age where he just loves to be with his friends so much that I tried to plan some like play dates for him almost daily actually yeah we have a play date today as well um anyways I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoyed those Hoyas um I look forward to seeing you guys again. The next video will be just like my top 10 favorite plants of this whole month. All right, guys, I'll see you guys soon again. Bye.